Having this true curiosity on the Ranveer Show. This is a great point to begin speaking about the tribals of India. Mm-hmm. As well as Kul Devta and Kul Devi. Mm. Um, I recently found out that my Punjabi side of my family is from Amritsar. But mm. originally we are from Pakistan. And apparently, so we migrated before the partition into mm. Amritsar. Mm. Uh, but apparently when that migration happened, they also brought the Kul Devi from Pakistan and kept it in a village somewhere near Amritsar. Okay. Now the thing is, every Sanatani person, I know this because I live in Maharashtra, I have, mm. my, my mom's half Maharashtrian. Mm. We have a Kul Devi even from that side. Right. Uh, in Gujarat, in Rajasthan, there is this Kul Devta, Kul Devi culture. Right. Uh, so this has been a traditional culture mm. of Sanatan Dharma for a very, very long mm-hmm. time. And each of these Kul Devis has their own name, mm-hmm. their own identity. Mm-hmm. How are they related to any of the Devis that we've spoken about until this point on the show? Kali no, Ma, no, it's not about related. So Kula Devi, Kula Devata could be any deity. There are many people who may have Bhairava as a Kula Devata. There are people who may have Vishnu as a Kula Devata. There are people in South who may have Tirupati as a Kula Devata. Kula Devata basically means a deity who has been connected to your family for at least three generations or more. That's it. That's it. Could so, be any deity. So if my Kul Devi is that Devi in Amritsar, uh, today if I am doing my Bhairava Pasana and I take it forward and my children do the same and their children do the same, my family's Kul Devata becomes Bhairav. No, it's, it's slightly more complicated. Suppose you attain Bhairav Siddhi. Oh, okay. Bhairava Baba actually comes and all that. And then your at least three to four generations continues. But that is very rare among humans. So basically what we do is we follow the Kula Devata that has been sort of worshipped by the family so far as it's possible to remember like that. So if your family has a certain Kul Devi or Kul Devata, it probably means one of your ancestors in your bloodline has had done a lot of Upasana of the deity and eventually some blessings of the deity must have come into your family. Recognizable blessings. And then generations after generations have worshipped that deity. And in fact, if the Kula Devata is known, it's very good to worship the deity. Very good to worship. It it reduces a lot of problems that the individual may face at various levels. Because the deity has already some link to that Kula. It's in your blood. It's in your blood. That way. Rishav Shetty who made Kantara, his ah. family is probably blessed by Panjurli Dev. Okay. I'm assuming so. Maybe. Like he yeah. made the movies or it came right, out through him. Right, right. And that's that's one no so so there is the thing uh, blessings of a deity can come otherwise also okay but Kula Devata is a very specific concept that a family has been worshipping a deity uh, significantly worshipping for multiple generations that is the Kula Devata I want to do one little different thing Lakshmi Bhaiya ko bolo this thought of a Kul Devata actually came from him. Because I asked him, who do you worship? And he's like, Nahi, hamare gaon mein, in our village, we have that one specific God. I was like, who, who is it a form of? And I don't think he knew the form. He's like, nahi, nahi, he gave me the name, whatever the name is, which is what I'm going to call him in for. Gaon, kaha hai aapka? Udaipur. Okay. You're from, he's from Udaipur. Kiski puja karte hoa? हमारे वहां देवनारायण भगवान की बिलवाड़ा जिले में है बहुत प्रसिद्ध भगवान है धार्मिक स्थान है बहुत आस्था रखते हैं गए साल नरेंद्र मोदी जी भी वहां गए थे और बहुत राजस्थान में फेमस है देवनारायण भगवान का मंदिर व्हाट इज देवनारायण भगवान इट्स फॉर्म ऑफ विष्णु फॉर्म ऑफ विष्णु वेरी सिंपल विष्णु का ही अवतार है ना वही तो विष्णु का अवतार है सिंपल व्हाइल वी सिट इन सिटीज एंड स्पीक इन इंग्लिश मेनी ऑफ अस डोंट रियलाइज दैट दिस इज द ट्रू इंडिया that has taken the story of Sanatan Dharma forward. Mm. So the story has been forwarded definitely because of temples mm. and places of worship. But I feel it's heavily been taken forward because of Kul Devta and Kul Devis. Understand the importance of each section. All of it together make a complete, complete whole. So Kul Devata is a very important idea. Uh, if you know the Kula Devata, it saves you from a lot of trouble. As simple as that. Kula Devata is the first deity to worship if you know who the Kula Devata is. Or if you don't even worship, at least once a year you go to the Kula Devata and you make some offerings, etc. Ensure that the Kula Devata is pleased with you. Can it take you to liberation? Liberation? What liberation? <laughs> Complete evolution, moksha. 
Kuladevata? Yes. If your Kuladevata is Vishnu, why can't he, Vishnu, take you to liberation? Okay. I mean, this is very simple. The overarching conversation I actually want to have here is hmm. about tribal cultures. Okay. Which I would argue also follow another version of Sanatantan because they've shared the same geography as us for a very long time. And tribal cultures all over the world have their own version of Kuldevta. Hmm. Right? Like even if you look at hmm. all these Samoan hmm. tribal cultures and all, hmm. they talk about same concepts, prana, they have deities, etc. Okay. I'm saying something wrong? No, no. I have no idea. So that's why I'm asking. I haven't seen much of the tribal culture. So uh, you tell me, I'll listen. I think that they all have their own goddesses yes, and gods. Yes, I'm sure. Then those goddesses are forms of the same goddesses that we've spoken about until now? Broadly similar. <laughs> They're forms of that Shakti, that original Shakti. They can be looked at as a form of broadly. Broadly, this is the term. Uh, I need to qualify the term broadly because obviously I have not done a proper study of it. But uh, broadly, they have some Bhairava aspect in their male deities and they have some Shakti aspect, Bhairavi aspect in their female deities. Some Bhairava aspect in the male deities? And Bhairavi or Shakti aspect of their female deities. Why do you say Bhairava aspect of the male deities? Because Bhairava is a certain rawness in them. I was seeing, I think, some book I was reading. So most of the tribal cultures, the offerings, very often that are made to the deities, unless they have been kind of, uh, there is some external influence that have made them change their paddhati of puja. So they would, they would offer meat and other things, etc. to the male deities that are there. So you offer those to Bhairavas also. You can offer meat to Bhairava. Shiva, you don't offer meat. But Bhairava, you can offer meat, you can offer alcohol, all these things. Are... Okay. Other than better mental health, could it be argued that generally on an average, people from tribal cultures are spiritually more evolved than... No. No? Spirituality is much more complicated. There is no, there is nothing like A culture is more evolved or B culture. Spirituality is an individualistic pursuit. One individual in some races, some cultures, some places, or few individuals will progress. So everything has its own spirituality. They have their spirituality. You have your spirituality. Towns have their spirituality. So like that. Lord Khandoba, hmm. who is one very common Kuldev uh, Maharashtra. in Maharashtra. Atharvas pulled it up. Just show any image. Because you have a deep understanding of iconography, sir. Would love to ask you what you see. And uh, so there is a uh, general story of uh, the deity, of course. But uh, additionally, there is a certain element of uh, this deity who is also regarded as Martanda Bhairav. Martanda Bhairav. Martanda means solar form of Bhairav. Martanda is sun. Okay. In fact, uh, in this one of the customs in this temple is offerings of Haldi. You can see those pictures there. This mm. picture. And, and that's the same case with Martanda Bhairav. Yes, so no, Martha de Bhairav has other ways of worship also. But my point is that Haldi is specifically a thing that connects to the solar energy. Okay. So even if you're praying to Surya Dev, I'm assuming Haldi. Uh, depends. <laughs> <laughs> so, but more or less, so that is like a like a, a form of Bhairava. You can <clears throat> take it as that. And it's very aggressive and a lot of people worship him. And a lot of people believe that a lot of benefits come from worshipping him. From Lord Khandoba? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, can you show Martha and uh, Open the third image, that Pinterest one. The moustache. Some so of this, the... This could be actually a form of uh, Khandoba itself. Somebody is created out of that. So Martha and Bhairav traditionally may have a different iconography. Slightly more complicated. But in there is a local flavor that comes in. Because there is some connected stories of Khandoba. So accordingly it changes. But the energy of the deity is similar to Martha and Bhairav. Perhaps practically speaking it could be that someone was into Martha and Bhairav Upasana. No, I, again... It cannot be fully said. So there is another possibility, by the way, just in case for the sake of mentioning. So um, uh, so there is a, another solar deity uh, who used to, in the, in the pantheon of the uh, solar deities that used to be worshipped in India, it's known as Revanta, R-E-V-A-N-T-A. You can check that up. So he is often shown riding a horse and carrying a sword. Perhaps this. So he's shown often riding a horse and present in hilly areas, used to be, and he has the power to remove... Uh, negatives and protect travelers and things like that. 
okay and in some places i think in bihar region when durga upasana is done durga puja so they also keep a small vigraha of revanta even today so it's possible that khandoba because he has a horse and he rides a horse was perhaps uh, instead of martand bhairav could have been revanta but no one knows for sure just that is a powerful deity connected to that temple so the only thing we know for sure is it's a form of shivji it's a form of shiva is the uh, it's like an all encompassing power it's like saying a female deity is a form of mata yeah now which mata <laughs> probably kali ma <laughs> soft so, form of kali so. <laughs> because this is a devi ma special okay If you enjoyed this clip from the Ranveer show we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics so explore the channel because there's something for everyone